Kilom pop. <laughs> My favorite, Belle. Belle. Uh, Belle. 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 See, I'm it right. But it's my favourite thing to say when something goes wrong now, I'm like, oh, belle. Hi everyone, Torera here. You're welcome again to DIY Do's. Today we're recreating my wedding makeup look and I have a special guest here, Sylvie Adeyemi. Hello. <laughs> she was my makeup artist on the wedding day. My inspiration, if you can't already tell, was 90s supermodel meets old Hollywood glamour. We're just going to recreate that and I'm also going to do my wedding hair because I did my wedding hair myself. Oh, you should definitely watch the video and find out how we created this look. Hello! Bye! Okay. Right, so we're going to use a serum on Tori's face. Hope you don't mind that I'm eating. What? It's salmon. So we need to massage the serum into the face. Okay, I'm going to go straight in with the eye makeup. Because the skin I, like, I prefer to do last. So I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer around the eyes just to kind of... Um, just kind of give myself a blank canvas. Yeah, I'm using a brush, a duo fiber brush, so it doesn't absorb the, um, the liquid or cream foundation. Oh, or, I see. Because I think that's one of my pet hates, like really heavy makeup under the eye. It looks great in the odd picture, but then in reality, when you're talking to someone, it can really age you. To be honest, I think the world is moving away from heavy makeup. I hope so. Yeah, I think. Just, People just are enhancing. To get tired of it. Exactly, and it's just not realistic. I think just enhancing someone's actual beauty, because so many, so many people look so much more beautiful without all of that heavy makeup on, you know. Yeah. Next, we're going to go to eyebrows. I'm using just a clear brow gel, a really um, good one. Like it's actually quite strong. Like it really keeps the hairs in place. And I'm brushing your eyebrows up, and then letting them kind of curve down a bit here. Now I'm using an angled brush and this is um, a real hair brush so it's a bit firmer and it's a bit thicker so it gives like a softer line. And just start by gently um, making strokes in the directions in the direction that your hairs are going in. And you notice I've got another colour in my hand which is like a warm red brown, like quite a light colour and I also use that to um, Soften the brow later on. So I always get married on the beach and she has this beautiful dress and like really beautiful natural hair and Aww. she's obviously beautiful. So we just wanted to enhance her natural beauty. Better. And the inspiration behind the look that we created was 90s supermodel. A bit of a Naomi Campbell vibe. Mm -hmm. Makeup shouldn't wear you. You should wear makeup yes. and it should accentuate your best features. Yeah. So that's just my... That's always been my style anyway. For me, less has always been more, so. No, I agree. And you know what I think the one thing is? I think Nigerian women generally are really, really glamorous. Yeah, and they always look amazing. And whenever you go to a Nigerian wedding, you're like, oh, oh wow, God. everyone yeah. looks even events, incredible. Even, even yeah, yeah, any event. Events, yeah. You couldn't even say even go shopping. Like, yeah. women look so beautiful and so incredible. So I think, yeah, and you can still get that kind of like, wow, super glamorous look, but like maybe with the makeup, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still strong makeup, but just less. Yeah. I'm going to use an eyeshadow base, like a two-in-one. Um, so we're going to do like quite a pale lid with like, I hate to, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I hate, I don't like the word cut crease, but it's like a soft cut crease if you want to mm. call it that. So this is a product, a paint pot from MAC Cosmetics called Quite Natural. So then after that, I get another um, duo fiber synthetic brush. Um, and just soften the edge so you can't see where the base product finishes and the concealer starts. Got the base on, got the eyebrows looking really beautiful and creamed, got some concealer. Now I'm gonna go with my favorite. And this is a, a black coal pencil from MAC, it's called Feline. You can see it's like mega, 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 mega black, really dark. So I'm just rubbing this in at the roots of her eyelashes. I use the side of the pencil rather than the tip because you'd be more precise then. And I'm using a brush soften it and blend it out a little bit. I'm taking it out slightly to the side to elongate the eye. Tori's got beautiful almond eyes anyway. Take the star eyeshadow, which is called Kid from MAC, and I'm just gonna press in the center of the eyelid. Lots of small pats rather than dragging. Then I'm going to use the tip of the brush now just to soften this edge. Because obviously we want it to be kind of 
slightly visible crease but not not like severe so now I'm taking like a brown color with a blending brush and I'm just starting to put some definition in the socket line for Tori so eyeliner is back and I'm putting it in the waterline then we get our blending brush from before and go underneath the eyelashes and just gently rub from side to side. Another good tip, if you're not sure about your makeup, do it and then walk away. Go and wash the parts or something and then go back and look in the mirror. That's a good tip. As someone gave it me years ago when I was at makeup school. Yeah, if you're not sure, if you're doubting yourself, just wash walk away, go and like wash your hands. <laughs> Go to the toilet, go and get a glass of water. Don't let anyone know that you're not sure. Where, where was the first thing you said, wash your pot? Wash your pot? I don't know. Well, because I'm a mum now, you have to just do something useful. Yeah. You might have washing building up. Walk away, do something that takes your mind off it. Guys, get your scouring pad out. Is not. If you've done your makeup and you need to check it, go and wash your pot. Go and wash some. Service number one. One tip go and wash something that you really don't want to be putting off. It's that one with the burnt rice at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some mascara now. I'm using waterproof mascara. And start right at the roots of the eyelashes and really rub it in. So I'm not even taking it through to the ends. Next, I'm going to use um, a pigment eyeshadow. I don't, oh, I'll start again. A pigmented eyeshadow from MAC. It's loose pigment. I'm using the same brush I used to apply the first eyeshadow, just in the middle. Some people would stick this down with like mixing medium or concealer underneath or something, but it's so lightweight, it clings to everything. What would be your number one tip for bridal makeup? Hire someone. <laughs> I know it's a like do-it-yourself channel, but I did my own make wedding makeup on my wedding day. You have a uh, tendency to fall back on your like what you want to do, your safe place, and it might not be what makes you look the most beautiful. So hire someone, make sure you have a trial, and... Um, Ask someone you trust what they think about it. This is even too light for a lot of people. Do you know that? Yeah, well, I can imagine. Yeah, but this course. is what... This is too light. Like, this is not... I can, I can bet you that a lot of people would say, oh, this is everyday makeup. Yeah, but I bet they don't spend this long doing it. I bet it doesn't look that good close-up. So we use a foundation from Kat Von D, which is really, really, really good. Um, cause Tori's got really, well she had really oily skin before when she's in the heat so I went and got this foundation which is like really long wearing mm -hmm. start in the forehead it's Yay! looking quite bright actually, did I put the right one on? I think so anyway, this looks bright but don't worry it's going to blend in but it won't be this bright second top tip for brides before you do anything is put some lip conditioner on and invest in a really good one that's actually going to moisturise your lips, not like Carmex. Wow. I have another top tip. I have another bridal top tip. Make sure you put the found your foundation on your ears as well. Because okay. you'd be surprised how many people's ears are red or like darker than their face or lighter than their face. This is with a bit of makeup on. This is... No makeup, but obviously she's got no foundation on that side of her face yet either, so. So now you're putting the concealer. Yeah, or just a bit of foundation or concealer, whatever you want to do, just a darker shade. Okay. I'm going to take blusher, quite a deep colour, and I'm going to use that again on the eye on the nose slightly and up in the eyebrow using a really soft brush Let's just blend this into the cheekbone Tori's got beautiful cheekbones yeah and then up through the hairline turn your head and then back the other way yeah okay then back at me so what are you putting under the eye? So this is 76 in the Tattoo Foundation from Kat Von D. Okay. Now I'm putting some blusher on. He's in two colours. 
peach one and like a pinky peach one. So, and I'm just buffing it into the face, like pounding it in basically onto your, on the apple of your cheekbone and pushing upwards. It's like an instant facelift, not that you need it. We love you, Naomi. <laughs> And now we'll do the lips. So I'm going to take off the lip conditioner. So it's lining the lips with a, like a nice natural brown first. On the bottom lip, we're going to blend the lip pencil quite high up around the sides and then we got this awesome like liquid lipstick from Huda Beauty called Bombshell, such a pretty pink, Woo gorgeous bright. I'm just setting your makeup now and then lashes. Okay, and done. Now it's time to do the hair. I did my hair myself with a wig from her giving hair. Put some got to be glued on some brush and just. So I used the Curl defining cream glaze and we'll work it into the hair. After you use the product, I like to brush. Then I go in with this, it's just pantyhose. And then you go in with a bit of more concealer. Okay, so I'll just use a little bit of mascara to hide the obvious line. So what you do is you take this and you try to get it on the bun. And once you have that, you just tuck it in. Take some bobby pins to pin it down. Now we'll put our hair accessory. Voila! If this made you smile, please subscribe and look forward to more videos from this wedding series.